Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In the last lesson, we finished edit functionality of our application. In this lesson, first I want to sort our employees by their names. We can do this in increased or in decreased way. Also, I want to add an alert message functionality to my application. For example, if we add new employee or edit or remove an employee, I want to see an alert message here. I will also try to implement this flash message functionality. Let's go back our code and here we are employee list.js and in employee list.js we are catching all the employees from our employee context and we are mapping here our employees. I will sort our employees here. Before the beginning, I want to underline that if you are working with JavaScript, you can implement something probably with different ways. We can order our employees in different ways. I will use here sort method. I will add here dot sort as a method chain. Then sort these employees by their names. For this reason, let's edit two parameters A and B. As I said before, I will compare these A and B with their names. I will do like that. A.name. If A.name is smaller than B.name, I want to return minus 1. As I want to return 1. Save the file. Now I want to explain this code a little bit more. For example, if a word starting with D is bigger than a word starting with C, for this reason, we can compare two string here. If A is smaller than B, I want that A came first because I want to sort my employees in increased way. For this reason, the smaller one comes first. If name of A is smaller than name of B, I want to receive A and B as they are, so I will return one here. Save the file and let's go back our code. And here we are sorting the name of employees starting with D and and then the last one is starting with T. If you want to change the sorting way, we will come and we will change these results. In first case, we will return one and in second case, we will return minus one. Save the file and as you can see, now we sort our employees but their names in decreased way. But I want to sort my employees in increased way so I will come here and I will change these return values minus 1 and 1. Save the file. Let's go back our code and here is our sorted employees. Now I want to implement alert message component. For this reason first I will go to React Bootstrap. And in React Bootstrap, let's go to Components. And in the Components, the first one is Alerts. When you look this Alert component, let's go to Down, Down. Here, you can select Variant. Variant success means this will take the Bootstrap color class success. And, you know, here, primary, secondary success, danger. All of them have same name with Bootstrap color classes. So the variant is important. Here I will use this dismissible version first and then we will dismiss our alert component manually. Let's copy this sentence with Ctrl C and I will put this alert over the our table with Ctrl V. Also I copied the closed alert tag. Let's go back to documentation. In briefly, this documentation says we have one state to control this alert show or not. This is our initial value. First, this initial value true. And for this reason, we can see this alert message. And set show is the function. I will do the same. I will create a state related with showing the alert message. And then I will write the handle function, which is handling set function of this use state hook. Let's go back our code and what I said. First, I will write a use state hook. This will be const show alert and set show alert. Why I use these names? Because I already used show and set show for my model. For this reason, I changed the name of initial state and name of the set function. For initial state, first 
I want to use false. The initial value of this use state will be false. Save the file. And of course, I will also just copy the name of this set function with control C. I will paste here. This will be set show alert. Show property of will be the value of show alert. Control C and Control V. Save the file. Here we are receiving an error message that alert is not fine, so we have to import this alert component. Here from React Bootstrap, I will also import this alert component. Save the file. Now everything is working. As you can see, the initial value of our show alert is false. And show property is equal to this show alert. Show property of this alert now is false. Let's go back our application. Here you can see that we don't see any message. But let's make our initial value is true. Save the file. And as you can see, now we see the flash, but we don't have any message. So let's go our alert. Here I have to add an alert message. Let's say employee list updated successfully save the file let's go back our application we can see this message here but again our initial state will be false let's change this from true to false now i will write the handle function of this alert functionality so i am coming here const handle show alert what i want with this handle function i want that our set show alert set our initial value from false to true when we will fire this handle show alert message when our model is closed our model is closing here so i will add our handle show alert function to use effect as a callback function i will write this like that i will add a return statement here in return case what it will do it will fire handle show alert function this must be return. Save the file. Now everything is working. Let's go back our code. First, let's add new employee. As always, Ricardo Quaresma with generic details. Add new employee. And first, we added our new employee, Ricardo Quaresma. Ricardo Quaresma is here because we sorted our employees by their names. And also, we received this alert message successfully. We can also close alert message by clicking this time sign. Let's edit this Dominic. Let's say Dominic Prayer 5. And let's make it from Germany to England. England. Edit employee. We change the details of Dominic. And we can also see this alert message successfully. We can close it manually and it is working, but maybe some people want that this alert message close by itself, let's say after two seconds or three seconds. We can also implement in this way. So let's go back our code and here first let's remove this on close function and dismissible. And also I want my variant is not a danger. I want to use success variant here to see a success message and later i will change my handle function handle show alert function first let's comment out this line i will write my handle show function again let's copy this line with ctrl c ctrl v in this case what i want first i want that my handle function fire set show alert and make its initial value true after some time i want that this set show alert makes its value false what i said after some time to get this some time i will use set timeout function set timeout and set timeout will fire here automatically and inside of set timeout function what we will do we will fire set show alert function again but this time value will be false as a time parameter i will add here 2000 2000 means 2000 milliseconds which is equal to seconds you can also change this value as you wish save the file 
Let's go back our code. I refreshed my application. Let's edit this from. Let's make from Wilson to mail.com. Let's make it hotmail. Hotmail.com. Spain. Let's convert this from Spain to Portugal. And edit employee. We see we saw the alert message, and two seconds later, our alert message is disappeared. This is the end of today's lesson. We will see each other in the next lesson.